Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Abby, and I'm a first year historian studying at St. Mary's. And as it's the time of year when a lot of you are gonna be getting your offers from Durham University and other unis, um, I thought it'd be nice for you to all see a room tour of what it is like to live at St. Mary's. Um, and more specifically, I live in the Ferguson building. So if you come to St. Mary's, you could potentially be living in either Ferguson, Williamson or Takeo but this is specifically Ferguson, but all the rooms at Mary's are quite similar. So I thought this would be a nice chance for you to all see what living at Mary's so is like. The first thing you see before you walk into my room is this painting of Will I Am, but obviously that is, that's got nothing to do with Mary's. <laughs> Here's great. Welcome to Abby's room. <laughs> so as soon as you walk into the room, the first thing you see is the bed and the wardrobe. And we've got, in Mary's, we have grey carpet and grey curtains. So if you know that you're going to be coming to Ferguson building, it's quite nice because it means you can try and buy your decor so that it matches. Um, and I also have a rug just from Ikea uh, because I think it's just nice to have your own carpet. So as soon as you come into the room, this is the wardrobe space that we have. So obviously there is quite a lot of space and the top section, I just keep all of like my towels in and my bedding. And then you just have quite a big space here. So there's like plenty of room for all of the clothes that you'll need. Um, and then the bed, we all get single beds at Mary's. So I just have like a grey um, rug to cover it and some nice cushions. And then I also have this from Urban Outfitters, which is quite a controversial cushion, but a lot of people moaned about it when I bought it, but it is comfy. Um, and then I just have some photos of my family and some friends, um, some books that I need for my course and some plants and sort of some fairy lights and just generally things like this are really nice to make your room homely. And then I have, I brought my own lamp to uni just because I think it does make the room sort of remind you of your, your normal bedroom at home as well. And now these are quite interesting. Um, these are just some wall stickers that I bought from eBay. Um, so they were only about two pounds and I just think they make the room look quite, like quite interesting. It's like a nice way to put your own touch on the room. So if you are gonna be coming to any university, that's quite a nice thing you can do. And I also have my own lampshade. So my one has sort of leaves on it just because that is the sort of general aesthetic of the room. So it just all ties in together and just generally makes it look a lot more homely. Um, then I just have a little bedside table, which I just keep like my washing bits in and just some general things that you might need in the night, like some water or some tablets, um, a box of tissues. And then obviously this is the, this is the window. And then I have this rug over it, which is, it's quite a thick rug actually. And it's really nice because sometimes it does get quite cold, obviously living in Durham. So it's just nice to have uh, big blankets in your room. And then this is the sink and obviously the mirror. Um, so we do have a big light over the mirror, um, as you can see. Unfortunately, it is one of those lights that makes you look absolutely dreadful. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't look in it with the light on too often. Um, and then under there, I just keep all of my makeup and um, like my toothbrush and things like that. And then this is the desk. So as you can see, it is quite a big desk. And um, we just have some more storage space underneath where I keep some just tops and trousers and clothes. And then I have a big timetable on top of the desk. And I think this is actually quite nice because it just means that you can visualize your time um, slightly better. Now I don't write on this because I think that that would make it look a little bit messy. And obviously, as you can see, I do quite like a tidy room, but it is nice to just be able to sort of visualize your weeks here. And then obviously you can sort of see how many more weeks you've got rest, um, left of the term. And then here, just in some little pots, I keep sort of my hair brushes um, and some pens. And there, there is my laptop and my lamp. Again, this is a lamp that I bought before coming to uni. Um, just as you can see, like I've got a sort of generally gold theme running around the room. And I just think it makes it look much nicer. And then up there I have, I just bought this also from Urban Outfitters. It's just like a little sort of, um, I don't know what you'd even call it, like just a wall piece. Um, I just think it looks quite nice. It's quite unusual and you can just stick like little bits on that you've like accumulated from either uni or some photos. Um, and then here, this is just like a massive bookshelf. Um, so I just keep some old folders and some work. 
Um, it's kind of a wasted space really. I don't I don't put much there and obviously as you can see there's some books that I need to take back to the library and then again just some drawers where I keep the rest of my clothes in and my washing basket. And then as you move around the room I have some more photos there just of family and friends and then I have two posters there that I actually got at the Freshers Fair when I joined Durham. Um, they are of Clue, so if you're coming to Durham, you'll probably have heard about Clue. It's deemed the worst club in Europe, so it's just quite funny to sort of have those posters. And then this is, again, a mirror that I bought from home, just because I think it is nice to have a floor-length mirror, so that's maybe something that you might want to bring if you're coming to university. And then on the back of the door, I just keep all of my coats and my bag. So this is just a quick 360 of my room. Uh, just so that you can see sort of the size. Now I'd say generally this is one of the smaller rooms at Mary's. Um, I know a lot of my other friends on the corridor, they have a slightly bigger room than me, but it's not a bad thing to have a small room. It just makes it more, more cozy. So that is the end of my room tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing um, my room at St Mary's College. Um, if you are coming to uni or coming to Durham more specifically, leave a comment down below and let me know what college you're going to. And if I have a friend at that college, I might even go and film a room tour there. If you are new to my channel, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, because since filming my last university vlog, there are so, so many more of you that have been watching my videos. And I've actually hit 1.5K on my last video, which is amazing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.